Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. How I enjoy my little baby wild pigs. Now this is not a mangalitsa, this is wild. If it was mangalitsa, it would have much more fat on it even at this young age. But it's wild, it's with the 15 that we were given back in the, uh, what will you call it? Early spring, it was warm weather, no doubt. We had to really get with it to get those pigs clean. But we got them and we were happy to get them. And I kept this one whole. A lot of times these little guys like this, people just, they dispatch them, throw them over the hill and they say, oh, there ain't no meat on them. No way, it ain't worth fooling with. Well, for me, they're actually the best. So one man's junk's another man's treasure because you can take these little babies like this and they're like this. And they're like this. McGee, you didn't put no seasoning on it. Don't worry, I've got a theory and it always has worked for me. Salt pulls out moisture. I don't have any excess moisture to spare. So I'm gonna leave the salt off of it until I wrap it. I will wrap this pig and I will finish it. I'm not sure at this point if I'm gonna finish it in here or in the oven, but even my oven is wood fired. So I say, let's do it. As you hear in the background, the boys are cutting firewood today. We just got done making a barrel full of plantain silage that weighed 415 pounds. That's the heaviest barrel of silage we ever made. And now they're heading straight out to cut wood. I don't know how long they'll cut, but if you keep cutting there, you know, you'll get your year supply. We always have a year supply, but we keep cutting, keep cutting. We want to keep that supply going because we burn wood every day. I think the boys deserve a good feast. Let's feed them. My theory is when you can lay your hand on here and it just about burns it, that's when it's time to shut it down. So we're going to turn this lever. All right, the time has come to get the pig out. I'm going to open this up. You can see it's still very hot, very smoky. And I just so happened, since I cooked the last pig, I asked, do you know where I can get some good heat gloves? I've got the best subscribers on earth, the best friends on earth. Chuck didn't say, here's the best one, send me a link. He sent me the gloves. And today I'm gonna take them for their inaugural voyage. And I can already tell you they fit my hands perfectly all the way up into the crook of my finger. I don't feel like I'm trying to swim with webbed feet. Look at this pig. Thank you, Chuck. That was amazing. And I'm not even feeling any heat and I was way too jumping the gun on that. I'm not ready. McGee, get yourself straightened out here. We've got to wrap this baby because the moisture is on the way out. This fell out whenever Grace was helping me on the houseboat and I didn't get it back in right. All right, now we're ready. We gotta get that shut. That fire's starting to run on with it. Here, yeah, piggy, 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 piggy. Okay, now, that's incredible. Those are very, very nice. I'm looking I can't even see a name on them. So I don't know how to tell you what kind they are or how to get your own because there's no name on them. But one thing for sure, I appreciate Mr. Chuck. He set me up. I'm just gonna lay them on a paper towel so they don't get dirty. And we're gonna break out the Redmond Real Salt. Mr. Bob is in love with Redmond Real Salt and he knows if he's gonna get healthy, he's gonna have to up his intake. You gotta up that intake. Look at this. Oh man, I gotta show you this. That's beautiful right there with them <laughs> grill marks on it. Oh man, that right there is a pig and a half. And that's the side that we are ready to season. Oh, that's going to be some good eating. Redmond real salt. I mean, we're salting the whole pig. You can't expect to salt it like you would a small quail and expect it to taste good. You got to lay it on it. Absolutely lay it on it. And I mean, lay it on it. Okay, there we go. 
If you've known anything on my channel in the last 500 years, you know Camp Dog Cajun seasoning is where it's at. Anytime you're cooking anything, it don't matter if it's wild, gamey, tame, tame as a chicken or wild as a armadillo. Yes, I've got some armadillos I need to cook up. Thank you, Longbow. It's gonna be good. And we're gonna lay it on there like that right there. And at that point, we're gonna wrap it up. All right, we're going back in with it. Just exactly like this. We're gonna pull this on down. Shut this on down. And we're gonna let it ride for another three or four hours and before we eat. That's gonna be good stuff. All right, I'd like to get this out and see how we're rolling. Take a little peeky peek, sneak peek. And see if we're tender. That's what I gotta do. How tender are we? Oh, well, still got to cook. Not done yet. That's why you check. Better not done than to be burned up. That's what I say. See you back here in just a minute. All right, we're gonna try this again, see how it is. I don't know about you, but I'm about to starve to death waiting on this thing to get done. It feels more tender. Let's hope, let's hope. <laughs> yes. We have hit gold. It need most salt. Most salt. Mm. Now, at this point, we're just going to let it rest for a little while. And that will help incorporate the juices that have come out. It's going to be a little bit dry if we just tear into it right now. But we're done here. Let's go and see how the boys like it. All right, we let it rest all of five minutes because to be honest, we are starving. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Mmm. This is where these gloves that Chuck sent me come in handy. This is difficult to do when you're hurting yourself. Look how juicy that is. Just fall off the bone tender. Beautiful color. Woo, baby, camp dog seasoning is talking to it now. And I'll just reach in here and get a hold of this, pull it right out. That little ham on these little pigs is not like ham, it's like delicious chicken. Man, alive. Ain't that something? Maybe this is why they call it pulled pork because you pull it. Look at this shoulder here. Uh, this is one that had them grill marks on it. Man, oh man, is that ever something. Pork shoulder at its finest right here, boys. Mm. All right, boys, let's try it out and see how good it is. Hey, reach in and help yourself. I'm gonna go wash my hands, take these gloves off, and I'm gonna try some too. Y'all help yourself, go ahead and fill your plates up.
believe that it'll do me. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, he knew I was hungry. Matt, I think you go on carnivore after this. Yeah, every meal is like this. Every meal almost is like this. Alright boys and girls, try her out. Huge thank you to Chuck for sending me those heat gloves. They just made the difference. And a huge thank you to Camp Dog for supplying the seasoning. Redmond Real Salt. It's tender. I love the smoke flavor. Let's see. That was that was ash and red oak. Mm mm mm. Is there a lemon on it? No lemon. No one. <laughs> what did you do? He put a lemon on it. <laughs> I got him good. I got him good. You got him good. How? I put lemon zest on his fork. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little prankster in the house. Boy, oh boy. One thing for absolute sure, if this was tough and dry, there's no way I could eat all that. But that is tender, moist. Not putting the salt on until I was ready to wrap it. All the difference in the world. I got a hundred comments on a one particular pig roasting video and they they absolutely grilled me over the fact that I didn't put seasoning on it at first. Don't wanna do it. Plenty of seasoning, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Big thank you goes out to Mr. Pete that caught these pigs and gave them to us. Fifteen in one day. Unbelievable. Matt, were you as hungry as I was? I don't know. I didn't have to watch it the whole time, so. <laughs> I, was, I don't think I'm asking. For those of you that are interested, I am actually losing weight on the carnivore diet while still drinking milk. But so far on the carnivore diet, I've lost about 12 to 15 pounds. You never know when you weigh, you know it fluctuates and all that good stuff, but definitely not what I was. Feeling better, more energy. We've been working quite a bit here lately. Doing quite a bit of things, haven't we, Matt? Yeah, this stuff is so tender, it's unbelievable. Tender and juicy. Some of that has to do with the age of the little thing. You know, it's a huge controversy. More than half the people will say, drop the milk, get rid of the milk. Well, this ain't no store-bought milk. It's never been pasteurized, homogenized, or nothing. All the feed that goes into her is good feed. Plus, it's A2, A2 milk. It's not A1 protein. Much better for digestion. So, I'm going to keep my milk. Also, if you want to see the boys and me process these pigs in about five minutes, I'll try to remember to leave a link to that video in the descriptions as well so you can go watch it. It became a fairly popular video at the time. A lot of people watched it. We had them piglets skinned out in no time. All right. Last piece on my plate down the hatch. Joe, load me up just right. I won't have to get seconds. You need some more? No. Anybody need more? Looks like we got enough for lunch tomorrow, Mom. All right, folks, that's all we got for you. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.